Let's look at adding a line set schedule to the drawing. So click on the Savvy Line Set Schedule tool, and then click at the plaster line of your drawing. We can have as many schedules in the drawing as we want. In order to see the worksheet, click the button in the Object Info palette or double click on the schedule. The schedule has a number of display options, including two different styles, column visibility, column order, which we can also flip or horizontally flip the entire line set schedule. You can change the width of each column in Object Info. You can simply drag the control point setting the distance in the drawing. We can control text size and font. To designate an item as an electric, open the worksheet and add a Y in the LX column. Electrics are called out in the line set schedule by font size, font, and classing. You can also add extensions that shows where each line set extends from the worksheet, which can show electrics markers as well. If we add depth to the worksheet, you can see that reflected in the extensions, as well as the size of each box in Style 2. Now let's look at the mini line set schedule option for adding a reference or bat and end markers. Insert a new line set schedule at the origin and check the mini line set schedule option. You can use this format as a reference, for example, on a deck plan or a section. As a batten reference, we need to go into the worksheet and make sure we've set a length for each batten. The length should be the length of the batten itself and not the length of the items on the batten. Here we'll change the style from single to double. And notice that there's a line set indicator at the end of each batten. You may remember we made one batten longer than the others, and we can see that reflected in the drawing. You may remember we made one batten longer than the others, and we can see that reflected in the drawing.